All right, man, so look, we're back at it again with another video, and y'all, this man, Will Smith, finally, after what, four, four months, five months, finally decided to come out and apologize. So we're gonna go ahead and react to this. I don't wanna waste no more of y'all time, because, boy, I'm y'all went for a tree, I'm in for a tree, okay? I haven't seen none of the video yet, you know what I'm saying? So hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow your boy on IG. What are y'all doing? Follow your boy on IG. You know what I'm saying? Without further ado, hey, man, we in for a treat today, you know what I'm saying? Let's get it, let go. It's been a minute over the last few months. I've been in, I've been doing a lot of thinking and personal. Oh, it took you about four or five months to do a lot of thinking. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. You asked a lot of fair questions and I wanted to take some time to answer. Okay. <laughs> for, number one, first off, why I got to be so dramatic? Why? Is you gonna apologize or you finna give us a movie? I, it, it got to be so dramatic. Why I gotta come on like that? Okay, I'm sorry for the. Hey, I know you guys been waiting for it. Like it's just so dramatic. All the fading in and bro, apologize or just don't. Okay, but I'm done talking. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you apologize to Chris in your acceptance speech? Um, I was fogged out by that point. It's, 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 it's all fuzzy. I've reached out to Chris um, and the, mes the message that came back is that uh, he's not ready to talk. And when he is, he will reach out. Um, so I will, I will say to you, um, Chris, I apologize to you. Uh, my behavior was unacceptable and I'm here when wow wow look I'm not even mad I'm not even mad at Will Smith okay I'm not even mad at Will Smith it, it remind me of when this whole situation happened y'all remember everybody was like a lot of a lot of men was just they was well I mean if somebody talk about my woman I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do that I'm gonna but Will Smith just said himself his behavior was unacceptable because nobody should act that way. Nobody should let anger rise up in them to act that way in public. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it should never get to that point in public. I don't care what a person say about me. I don't care what a person say about family in public. I don't care. But I'm not going to put, I'm not going to make myself look like a fool. I'm not going to, you know, um, this is a word I'm looking for. I'm not going to like make my character look less of what it is. You feel me? Even he just said himself, this was unacceptable. So why y'all went that was like, well, I mean, I would have did the same thing. You know what I'm saying? He did this, he did that. Come on, man. But hey, I, hey, look, I respect Will for actually coming out as a man and apologize. No matter how long it took. You feel me? It don't matter how long it take you to do anything in life. As long as you do it. So it took him four months, maybe. You know what I'm saying? Three, four months. However long the situation is to apologize. So hey, he did it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I appreciate it. I don't appreciate it, but I, I respect it. Whenever you're ready to talk. Um, I, I want to apologize to Chris's mother. I saw an interview that Chris's mother did. And, you know, that was one of the things about that moment. I just didn't realize, and, you know, I wasn't thinking, but how many people got hurt in that moment. So I want to uh, apologize to Chris's mother. I want to apologize to uh, Chris's family. Uh, specifically Tony Rock, you know, we had a great relationship, you know, Tony Rock. Yeah, not no more. That, that dude got you, boy. He, <laughs> hey, hey, yeah, hey, if you know, you know. It was my man. Um, and uh, this, this, is, this is probably irreparable. Um, I spent the last three months um, replaying and understanding the nuances and, and the complexities of what happened in, in that moment. Um, and I'm not gonna try to unpack all of that right now, but I can say to all of you, there is no part of me that thinks that was the right way to behave in that moment. There's no part of me 
that thinks that's the optimal way to handle a feeling of disrespect or or exactly. insults. And, and you, it's crazy because so many people, like, I mean, it was a lot of people that was against him, but it was a lot of people that was with him. Like, oh, this was, the, he did what he had to do. He, he stood up as a man. Some of y'all just some, some of y'all just some peas and this and that. Some of y'all just some bees and all types of stuff, bro. At the end of the day, I don't want to, I don't want people to think this is a part of me. I don't want people to 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 look at me differently. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it's already bad enough we in America, and, and it's, America is crazy as it is. I don't want people to just feel like I'm part of that craziness. You feel me? Like, I want people to look at me different. You know what I'm saying? As a respectable young man, I want people to look at me different. I don't want to just walk up to nobody because they disrespected my wife or disrespected my kids and just and just slap them, just slap them, just. You know what I'm saying? I just went, you know what I'm saying? But I appreciate, like I said, I respect Will Smith for coming out and truly apologizing. This is a real apology right here. After Jada rolled her eyes, did she tell you to do something? No. Um, it's like, you know, I'm, I made a choice on my own from my own experiences, from my history with Chris. Jada had nothing to do with it. Uh, I'm sorry, babe. Um, I'm going to say sorry to my, my kids and, and my family for the heat that I brought on all of us. Um, to all my fellow nominees, you know, this is a community. It's like I won because you, you voted for me. And it, it, it really breaks my heart to have stolen and, and tarnished, tarnished your moment. Um, I can still see Quest Love's eyes. You know, it, it happened on Quest Love's uh, award, and you know, it's like I'm 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 sorry. Really, isn't sufficient. What would you say to the people who looked up to you before the slap? or people who expressed that you let them down. Um, so there's two things. One, um, disappointing people is my central trauma. Um, I hate when I let people down. Um, so it, it hurts. Uh, it hurts me psychologically and emotionally to know I didn't live up to uh, people's standards, image and impression of me. It, you know, just by him saying that, I ain't gonna lie. Look, I feel you, bro. I feel you. That's probably one of the things that I just hate the most is letting, letting people down, especially people who have faith in me and, and who who like. Even when it comes to success or even when it comes to YouTube, the people that believe in me, the people that, that, that believe that I can make it doing what I'm doing, like, I don't want to let them down and give up on something because it's not where I thought it would be in this amount of time. You feel me? And I don't like letting down people. I just don't. Like, I'm not saying I'm a people pleaser, but I just don't let it, I just don't like letting down people, especially when somebody truly believes in you and then you just stop doing that. And it's like, I let you down and I just don't like that. You know what I'm saying? Especially when people support you so much and they, they with you through it all, you know, through the ups and downs, they with you through it all. And then you just let them down. That's one of my biggest things, bro. I do not like letting people down at all. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. Will is hitting on some points. You know what I'm saying? At, 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 at one point in time, like when he slapped Chris, like, I was like, God damn, like that, I know that hurt it, but it, it, not only did it hurt Chris, I could tell that it hurt, uh, it hurt Will too. Like at that in that moment it probably didn't, but now it's coming to realization like dang that that junk hurt me the most because I let the people that looked up to me down. I let I let them people down. I you know and then he said, apologize. Was the mother there? Was Chris Rock mother there? You slapped her son in front of that that's crazy. If I don't know if she was. I'm just saying, if that that was the case, dang boy, that's whew. And the work I'm trying to do is I am deeply remorseful and I'm trying to be remorseful without being ashamed of myself, right? I'm human and I made a mistake and 
I'm trying not to think of myself as a piece of shit. Um, so I would say to those people, I know it was confusing. I know it was shocking. Um, but I, I promise you, I am uh, deeply devoted and committed to putting light and love and joy into the world. And, you know, if you, if you hang on, I promise we'll be able to be friends again. All right. Um, first off, I just want to say, me personally, uh, I, I was never like a, a big fan of Will Smith, but I did watch a lot of his movies, a lot of his shows that he was in. Like, I did do that. So I do want to say I appreciate the apology. You know what I'm saying? And it's nothing else I could possibly say that's negative or anything bad towards Will Smith because he came out and he truly apologized. That's a That was a sincere apology from the heart. I mean, he was using big words. You know, when a person uses big words in their vocabulary, yes, it could be in their vocabulary is up there. You know what I'm saying? But that also means that he's really remorseful remorseful you know what i'm saying i just learned the word today remorseful I, i've been new to word but you know it kind of it kind of sound good coming out my mouth remorseful you feel but that's that's the point all just aside though like will we as fans we as supporters of you or even people that was just watching it and just like kind of confused in the moment like we appreciate you coming out and apologizing hopefully you and chris can actually talk and become cool again because we don't need no more separation you know what i'm saying it's already bad enough everything in this world is separating us we don't need no more separation you feel me and i'm not just gonna say in the black community i'm saying in general as a whole we don't need no more separation so i'm glad you came out and truly apologized even though it took you this amount of time i'm glad it took you this amount of time to come to your senses and be like okay i did something stupid you feel me i did something really stupid but uh yeah man so that was the will smith apology you know what i'm saying let me know what y'all think hit the like button subscribe to no post notifications been your boy the pen i love each and every one of y'all god bless stay blessed peace